All right, everybody, thank you all for standing by. Joined now by Coach Sweeney, who will have some introductory comments on tonight's game. Then we'll go to questions in the room, and if time permits, we'll go to questions virtually at the end. Coach, when you're ready, take it away. All right, well, just uh, man, really proud of our team. It was a, It's never easy to win anywhere, but it's really hard to win on the road, and it's really hard to win in Tallahassee. And uh, I'm just really proud of our guys. Um, you know, hard fought game. We got off to a really good start and uh, <clears throat> had a couple lows, but we, we battled really hard and uh, a lot of, a lot of good stuff in the game, man. Um, offensively 500 yards, very balanced, uh, 265 rushing, 6.6 .6 a carry. You know, I knew Mafa at some point was going to, was going to take it over 159 yards rushing for him. Really proud of him. He was six something a carry and, um, uh, uh, zero had a career high, I think 157 all purpose. And, and honestly, he had a couple of close misses that, that he's frustrated with that he almost had. So uh, he just continues to be a, a really good spark. We got a lot of guys making plays. Uh, you know, 10 and 12 made, made some plays. Uh, uh, one uh, came up big for us, big touchdown, had a big third down conversion. It was a lot of, a lot of good stuff. Uh, but uh, man, Big thing for me coming in the game was not letting them run the ball. And I, they rushed for 22 yards. So um, and we had a couple of a couple of little breakdowns here or there. I was really disappointed on the fourth and 11 when we didn't let the quarterback outside of us there. But because we could have really put it away right there and <clears throat> gave, up a, gave up a late score. But um, the fact that, that we held them to 22 yards rushing, I mean, that's the difference in the game. We rushed for 159. They rushed for 22. We're going to win a lot of football games uh, that way. So, um, Wish we could have finished a couple more in the red zone. But, man, how about Nolan Hoosier? Uh, I mean, first time we've had five field goals since 2011, cat and zero. And, and you know, obviously very disappointed in, in the blocks. Uh, just really poor uh, technique and fundamentals there that we got to get cleaned up because but the school record is set and we had two blocked. And I just hate hate that for him. But he's a freshman. And uh, – Hey man, I'm not I'm not gonna be greedy. Y'all all around here last year with our kicking woes mm -hmm. to see a kid go out there and make five field goals on the road. Man, I'm 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 super proud of him. And I'm really, really uh just the execution, the, the battery did a really, really good job there. So uh, it was awesome. We had a couple big punt returns in the game that were that create, created some field position. Um and then again defensively, a couple sacks, uh the interception. That's the that's the Fourth game in a row, we've won the turnover margin. So something that we were really poor at last year. Two things, you know, obviously making kicks and winning the turnover margin. Uh, so it's, and, and then explosive plays. You know, we're, we're really doing all three of those things very well and consistently. So I'm really proud of, of that aspect of it. Uh, but plenty that we can do better. Uh, you know, that, that we, as we continue to grow our team, there's, you know, there's good, there's bad. Uh, but it was a, a very, very sound win tonight. And, and then I also, uh, I think, I think you saw a lot of good things from Florida State tonight. I, those kids, they, 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 I mean, they didn't quit. It's a team that's one and four, and you know they're down a few scores, and they kept battling. And I think that says a lot about their coaches, uh, and it says a lot about their team, you know, because they they just kept competing, and and that's a that's a it's a good sign. So. Um, you know, obviously, uh, again, it went our way tonight, but uh, just really proud of our team and really appreciate our fans, too. You know, I always tell them our plan to win travels, and so does our, fan, our fans. And uh, we have another good group here tonight. Um, so, end of the day, you know, we held serve. We're, we're still in control of our ACC destiny, and that's, that's what we came to do. We, we're just trying to, one week at a time, find a way to win, you know, and then reset, uh, learn, grow figure out who can play, who can't, put a plan together and, and go to battle uh, again the next week. So, But I always say great teams win on the road. We're not a great team yet, but we took a step forward uh, to be able to come on the road and win in a, in a sound way against uh, a team that was picked preseason top 10 and most of y'all picked them to win the league. Uh, it's a really talented football team, a lot of good players, a lot of good players on that team. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm proud of our guys for that, but you know, we just got to keep going. We got to keep being consistent in our preparation, and hopefully that'll lead to the type of consistency in our performance that that we all want to have. So, um, you know, fun night and uh, another big one next week at, at Wake Forest. 
again, just just proud of our team and our staff uh, for getting this done tonight. We talked about it after the game last week, but <clears throat> to, to pass Bobby on Bobby Bowden Field tonight, uh, just your initial reaction of, of being the most winningest coach in ACC history. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I listen. I'm just blessed, and I'm very honored. I, I don't want to downplay it. That's, I mean, there's been a lot of coaches coaching this league for a long time. Now, 80 years, however long this league's been around. So it's a it's a blessing. And, and I, I honestly think Coach Bowden is probably smiling. You know, somebody's got to break it, and somebody will break this record one of these days. Uh, and I just – all I can tell you is um, <clears throat> that's never been a goal of mine. I mean, I'm honored, I'm blessed, but it's not – that's not ever anything I've ever even dreamed about or cared about or thought about doing. Uh, you know, those type of things. Coach Bowden, poof, was here right now. He'd tell you the same thing. Those type of things, whoever the winningest coach is, or coach of the year, <laughs> that happens because you got great players and great coaches and, and kids that buy in, and great administration. Um, and so, you know, I'm just I'm, – I'm, I'm blessed. I'm thankful. I mean, I've been able to be at this place for 16 and a half years. Six, 16 years ago, almost to the day, or maybe a couple, two or three weeks from now, I came down here with one win and, and you know, had, had to – Meet Bobby Bowden at, at midfield, and uh, I'll never forget that. Get a picture in my office, and never in my imagination would I think 16 years later we'd be sitting here having this conversation. But you know that's how God works, and I just give all the glory to God. I'm just I'm just thankful. But honestly, uh, as I said last week, my name may be on the the list, but it ain't nobody better than Bobby Bowden. That's just a fact. I mean, he he he's he's amazing. And, and honestly, um, if I could just have half the impact on my players' lives that Bobby Bowden had in his, then I would have lived a good life of purpose. All right. And that's just really that something. I mean, so because, you know, he won, but man, he loved his players and he impacted them. He shaped their lives. He created transformation in their lives. And that's, you know, if I can, if I can be half of that uh, throughout my life, and that's a life well lived. And uh, it's never been about any of that stuff. I'm, 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 I'm blessed. I'm honored. I'm thankful. But you know, we've had so many great players, so many great coaches and staff that, that are a part of that. So, um, you know, it's, it's fun to, to be able to just move forward. I just want to be Wake Forest. You know, I just want to go be Wake Forest and reset, get back to practice on Monday and see if we can, uh, see if we can keep building something special this year. Coach, uh, you're upset with your run defense last week. You mentioned it 22 yards tonight. Uh, did it feel like Florida State abandoned the run at, at one point? Yeah, I mean, you know, they got down. I mean, I, you know, I think they knew they weren't going to just grind it out on us down the field. And so they had to try to create some chunks. And we gave them a couple of them and a couple of busts. And, and, and again, the fourth and 11, we, we had really good coverage. And we just, we just, he did a nice job of getting outside of us and scrambled for 12 yards to get it. Um, but, you know, I think they set the tone early that we were we weren't going to allow them to run the ball, and um, and that, that that showed up early. So, um, you know, and again, Dick, the, the, the way the game went, and all of a sudden you get you know almost a three score lead. Um, it just put a little more pressure on them on this, how they were going to have to play. Compared to how you won tonight, kind of grinding out fashion, like you did the three previous games, quick strike. You, it may be a little satisfaction knowing you could you can do it both ways. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we need we need. I mean, last week, I mean, I thought it was as I said, um, we had a little bit of tension at some times, uh, and a little bit of strain. And last week, we needed to. I mean, we had a lot of red zone defense, and we really did a great job in the red zone. So it was good to see that. Um, but I mean, listen, as you go through your schedule, you know, you're gonna first of all, we're gonna get everybody's best. That's just a given. Everybody we play, you know you're going to get whatever their best is. We're going to get it. Uh, so you have to be ready for that. Uh, but, it, yeah, it's good to see us win different ways. I mean, to make five field goals. Uh, I mean, um, that, because we've been so good finishing with a bunch of touchdowns. So to be able to – and we had some explosive plays. Uh, but to put some drives together, I mean, honestly, we didn't get points. But the drive that came from um, – uh, we were inside the 10 – and we drove it all the way, pinned them on the four. Like, that's winning football. I mean, those are things that you don't really see in the stat line and stuff like that, but that's winning football, to flip the field like that. And then we went three and out. And then we were able to put a drive together. I think they we they blocked the kick right there. 
So I was really disappointed in that. But there was there was a lot of good stuff in the game situationally. I thought the two minute drive was awesome. It was like maybe eleven plays. How many plays was that two minute drive? Eleven to twelve plays. A minute. I think it was a minute twenty, and we had two timeouts. And we haven't had a lot of two minute situations this year. And so to put a two minute drive together and get points, you know, backed up. Uh, with two timeouts, minute 20, that was awesome. Get the stop and then put the drive together. I just really, uh, that was some good stuff, you know. So a lot of good things that we can build on for sure in the game, both both just some of our base offense, defense stuff, but also some situational stuff that, that, that'll help us grow. 12 plays. 12 plays. Minute 12, there you go. Minute 12, two timeouts. That, that, was, that was really good, really good execution. I thought Cade played great, again. I mean, Gritty made some plays with his leg. I mean, what he what he rushed for? I mean, he was, yeah, I mean, he's, he averaged um, 5.6 a carry. I mean, he's just been a difference maker for us in his recognition. He's, op- he's been much more opportunistic, you know, with just uh, some – there's been some things that have broken down, but he's, he's had good recognition, especially versus man coverage, and uh, has really made some big plays. So, uh, proud of him. I mean, he's, he's, he's made some great throws. He's seeing the field. Uh, he's got command. He made some tight throws. Uh, so just overall, there were a couple third downs I thought we could have we could have finished on. But again, not perfect, but a lot of good stuff. What did you see on the two field goal blocks? Just, just absolutely teams? horrible on the left side at tight end and wing. Yeah, awful. It's that simple. Just absolutely did not do what we coached him to do. So. That's on us as coaches. I mean, just put that on tape. That, that'll come. That, put that on tape. Better get ready. So, really disappointed in our technique fundamentals there. It's really poor. What well, uh, kind of happened on Club McGee missed a play? Uh, I think we scrapped. Just got shook up. Yeah, he just got shook up and made, made him come out to make sure he's okay. So, a situation where he comes to the sideline, you say, next time will you go down rather than – Initiate contact? No, not really. Uh, after he didn't get the third, after he didn't get the first down, and that you know uh, was that Stanford. Yeah. You know, I I, I think he needs to, I think he needs to go get a few of those. You know, I mean, we're gonna need him. So he yeah, he's got to be smart, but but he's also got to he's got to lead his team. And um, you know, that was a that was a good play. But he bounced back, and and then you know, I, you know, CV comes in, and we take a shot right out of the gate with seventeen, and it's there. We're about to hit a touchdown. They tackled Wesco. Uh, I loved it. That was fun. That was good. Good to see CB get in there and, and not 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 flinch. It was good. Well, Camden had some good plays tonight. It seems like your confidence in him is growing. Yeah, yeah, he's doing a good job. We had a couple of technique things out there today at corner that, that really uh, we got to we got to be better at. You know, just some you know we're playing our press technique when we're playing our catch technique and knowing where the sticks are, and then just you know, a couple of things with our eyes. But um, yeah, he's he's. He's ready to roll. You know, he's a guy we trust, and it's good to see him go in there. That big, big tackle, that really big tackle one time. So he's a kid that, that just continues to improve. Get to the red zone six times and just still goal attempts. Looking back to play calling, what do you think? Something off or? Uh, well, I watched the tape. You know, I need to see the tape and really see exactly before I can give you a, a really better answer. But um, I think the biggest thing is just we just missed on a few plays, um, honestly. You know, there's probably when we watch it, there's probably a couple things that that uh, <clears throat> we probably maybe maybe call different, but I need to see it and uh, watch it on the plane home. Uh, but uh, it, you know, again though, you, you got to come away with points, and you know, to be able to do that was 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 really good. However, you get them, they add up. Outside of that SMU game, Florida State defense has been pretty good this season. It seemed like they they were pretty tough in the red zone. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I told y'all coming into here, they got they got some dudes now. Every one of them guys on that defensive line gonna be drafted. Every one of them. And they got guys that can run. They, they and they were very aggressive with their style. And again, we I, I really like the fact that we we stayed committed to the run and we felt like we could eventually pop some and wear them down a little bit. But um, you know, it was I mean, they're really good. They're a really good group. And again, they they showed up ready to play. And, Competed. They competed all. I thought they competed all the way to the end. And again, that says a lot about their team. Well, you said earlier we're not a great team 
yet. <coughs> what will make us a great team? Just consistency and performance. Just keep improving. Just keep improving all the little things that we need to get better at um, that we see on tape, you know. And, and you gotta, you gotta, you know, again, you gotta win on the road. So we've done that now, but now we gotta create the consistency. You know, uh, we got another one next week, and so you just gotta keep, you gotta keep rolling. There's a lot of things that we need to improve on. Uh, we were down a few players tonight too, uh, um, and we had a couple guys back. And how about Adam Randall? You know, ready to play. Ready to play. I mean, it's, I'm glad we didn't have to play him, but he was he was here and ready to play. Uh, just amazing to me. I mean, absolutely amazing. Uh, so, you know, we just got to keep rolling, with, clean up the mistakes, and just keep keep cutting down on on some of the um, you know breakdowns here and there, and, and just becoming a smarter, more intelligent team. Guys are playing hard. They're playing tough. So time will tell. We just got to continue to go. We won four four games. That's it. You know, we're going to be a great team at four wins. They got to keep going. You know, so if they got the courage to continue, then we'll have a chance. But we got to – we've got the ingredients. You know, we got a really good quarterback playing at a high level. We're playing well in the trenches. we got some explosiveness. we got our special teams that's showing up. So, you know, we've got a chance. But we just got to continue to, you know, stay hungry, stay humble, keep preparing. Where we need to every single week's biggest game of the year is playoff football every week, and, you know, in league play. That's what it is. Do you think Gene Lawson played his best game tonight of his career? I don't know. We'll see. I thought he did some good things last week. It's hard for me to say he played his best game so I can watch the tape, but I mean, he's getting better. He's he's really growing up and flashing, and um, he's he he has a presence out there. You know, he plays with his length, and uh, he's a strong handed kid, and he's a high motor guy. So I, I love everything about. You know, Jaheim, I think, and he's just a redshirt sophomore, so he's just gonna he's got a lot more football in front of him. But it's his first year to really play, and he's taking advantage of it. And he's had some opportunity. Got Peter back tonight, and, and you know he hadn't played. You know, he he'll get he, today was the day. He's been day to day. Today was the day. <laughs> Chapel today was the day. Uh, so uh, he'll be back, and so hopefully he can have a real full practice next week. You know, we kind of had to. Um, What's the word? I'm acclimatizing back last week. So hopefully we can have a really full uh, week of practice, and that's going to help him just kind of get back in football mode because he hadn't played well since the first half of the app game. Uh, so, you know, nice to have him back out there as well. Ashton Hampton got a lot of play time, it seemed like, from the second quarter on. Was that just because he's a Tallahassee guy, or was it <laughs> no, Jay Lucas getting no, ruined? What was the deal? No, no, no. We're not trying to win. You know, we're not trying to make moms happy. Uh, <laughs> No, he's just a good player, and we had a couple mistakes, and we just kind of put him in there to, you know, just and he made a couple nice plays. Um, we we really high on Ashton. I mean, he's going to be a very very good player uh, for sure. Sewell and Stefan didn't travel. To yeah, both were out. Days. Both were out. Yeah, maybe hopefully both will be back Monday. Uh, so, but anticipate both being back next week. Any questions virtually for Coach? Anybody else in the room? I think Colin Sadler, he was available, but yep. he was a yeah, same thing with him. He had he he was uh, he had a little bit of a flare up this week, and um, um, so he really did. They really didn't. He wasn't really able to practice until a little bit on Thursday, um, but he actually felt pretty good tonight. So he he, he same thing. He and Adam were kind of in the same category. Could play if we needed him. Uh, but I'm thankful we were able to hold both of them. <clears throat> Setting your point, they used to be in mid quarters that um, someone was injured on the field goal blocking unit, usually, or they were, you were down. It was Burley. Early. Burley, yeah. Burley went down, and uh, but he 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 came back later. Um, but we, we took him off field goal. So again, just you know, we gotta we gotta we gotta get that fixed. It's disappointing. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Coach. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Everyone, please be advised we will be turning this room around for the tape of this coach's show here shortly.